Hello everyone, this video is about building Unreal Engine from Source on Windows. As to why someone would use the Source version of Unreal rather than the Epic Games launcher version, I have some reasons outlined up here, so if you're curious then feel free to pause the video. Before actually building Unreal Engine, let's make sure we have everything required to do so from a software and hardware perspective. Starting with the hardware requirements for Windows, I actually recommend better specs than those from the official documentation. Starting with the processor, your CPU should have at least 8 cores and 3 GHz base clock speed. In terms of RAM, 32 GB should be enough at the time of this recording. In terms of storage, realistically a minimum of 500 gigabytes of free space would be preferred, ideally on an SSD over a hard disk drive. Those three hardware requirements that we just covered are primarily for the build process. Now for actually running Unreal Engine after building it, you will need a DirectX 12 compatible graphics card. At a minimum, I recommend at least 8 gigabytes of VRAM. Moving on to the software requirements. Before building Unreal Engine from source, we have to download the source code from GitHub. To do so, we need Git. You can get Git from the official Git Downloads website. From here, download the installer and then run the installer. As you go through the installer, you don't have to change any of the default settings. The options selected by default are sufficient for most people. So just click next to all the prompts and then install on the last one. The next software requirement is Python because after downloading the source code, there are some scripts that have to be run before building the source code that rely on Python, specifically version 3.7 or newer. You can get any version of Python from the official Python website by downloading its installer and then running its installer. The only requirement when installing Python is selecting the option to add Python to your path. You do not need to customize your installation. The default settings are fine for most people. Although it's not required, I recommend installing the Unreal Linux toolchain, even if you are not targeting Linux platforms, because if you change your mind, you'll have to rerun the pre-built setup scripts and rebuild the entire engine. So choose the cross-compile toolchain that matches your intended engine version. Once the download has finished, just click Next and Install. The final software requirement is Visual Studio, the tool used to actually build and compile the engine source code. You can download the installer application from the official Visual Studio website. And from here, we are going to select four workloads to install along with the Visual Studio IDE. .NET Desktop Development, Desktop Development with C++, Universal Windows Platform Development, and Game Development with C++. If we need any other components for Visual Studio for building Unreal, we will find out later on. Now that we've covered all the prerequisites, reminder to restart your computer if you've installed any new software. Let's jump into downloading the Unreal Engine code. To do that, we need to get access to the GitHub repository for Unreal Engine. In order to do that, we need to link our Epic Games account with our GitHub account. So if you don't have a GitHub account, go ahead and sign up for one first. Once you have a GitHub account, go to unrealengine.com and log into your Epic Games account. After logging in, open your account dashboard, select apps and accounts, specifically the Accounts tab, and from here you can connect your GitHub account. Then just sign into your GitHub account through the prompt, and give Epic Games authorization to access your GitHub account. Once you've completed the OAuth authorization process, you should have received an email from GitHub inviting you to the Epic Games organization on GitHub. Open up that email, click the Join Epic Games button, and click it again. Now on the Epic Games GitHub page, you should be able to see as well as access the private Unreal Engine repository. With all that, we can download the source code using Git. So go to Windows Explorer, find the location to keep this repository, and Git bash into that location. Let's zoom in using the control key and the scroll wheel on the mouse. And to clone the repository, simply type out git clone and the web URL. When you press enter, if you've never used git before, you'll be prompted to authenticate yourself and authorize git credential manager. 
so go ahead and do that. Back to Git Bash, note that the cloning will take a while depending on your internet connection, so feel free to pause the video and come back when this is done. Once we've cloned the repository, change the working directory to the newly created Unreal Engine folder. This folder is our local copy of the Unreal Engine GitHub repository. By default, the release branch is checked out, meaning that the files in the current working directory reflect the files in the release branch, which mirrors the latest stable version of the engine. At the time of this recording, that version is 5.3.2. If you are interested in a different version of the engine, then you can run the git branch command with the A flag as well as the git tag command. Browse through the results of each using arrow keys and the Q key to exit. Find the name of the branch or tag that represents the version of the engine that you are looking for and change all the files in your local repo to match those in the branch or tag from the remote GitHub repo by checking out the branch or tag. For example, if I wanted the 5.2.1 release tag, I'd run this command, but for this video I am not going to do that so I'm going to press Ctrl C to not run this command and to stick with the release branch. Once you have decided which branch or tag that you want to build and it's checked out, let's run the pre-built setup scripts. The first one is called setup.bat, which is responsible for downloading third-party dependencies. After the setup batch file has finished running, the other pre-build script that we have to run is generate project files.bat, which creates the Visual Studio project files for the Unreal Engine source code. Once that's completed, if you navigate to this Unreal Engine folder in Windows Explorer, you should see a Visual Studio solution file. Go ahead and open that up in Visual Studio. Upon opening up Visual Studio, you will see a warning message up here on the top right corner in the Solution Explorer prompting you to install missing packages. Go ahead and click Install, and click Install again. Before proceeding on, I just want to quickly expand the Solution Configurations window so that we can see it better. By right-clicking the toolbar, selecting Customize, then Commands, then Toolbar, then Standard, then Solution Configurations, then Modify Selection, and we'll set the width to 200. Then, let's confirm that we are using the Development Editor Build Configuration and that we are targeting the Win64 platform because we want to run the Unreal Engine Editor. With that, right-click where it says UE5 or UE4 under the Engine folder and select Build. And just like that, we are now finally officially building Unreal Engine. Note that this will take a very long time depending on your computer specifications, so please pause the video and return when this build process has finished. Once Visual Studio has finished building Unreal Engine, let's start it up using Visual Studio. To do that, right-click the engine again, but this time select Set as Startup Project. And then on the toolbar here, click on Local Windows Debugger, and this will take a little while because there is compilation of assets happening the first time starting up the editor after building the engine. Luckily, you rarely have to build the entire engine. Once the editor has finished initializing and the Unreal Project Browser is open, let's create a new C++ project. And once the project files have been created, the project should open in Visual Studio. Ensure that you have the Development Editor configuration and the Win64 platform selected with your project set as the startup project like we did earlier with the engine. Now, let's run this project in the editor. And let's play the game to make sure that everything is working. If everything looks good, then congratulations, you have successfully built Unreal Engine from source, and that concludes this video. If you found it helpful, then please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on our other social media. Join the Discord server. Consider supporting us. All of that is in the description below. Special thanks to our higher tier patrons, Morgan Heidemann and Lucas Moskin. And thank you for watching. Have a good day.